I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting trigonometry equation to solve. The equation is solve 2 tan x cos square x minus tan x equals to 0 where x is between 0 to 2 pi. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let me rewrite the equation which is 2 tan x cos square x minus 1 equals to 0. I mean sorry minus tan x. Now we can take tan x common so that gives us tan x so we can factor tan x from this equation so you get 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to 0. Now when you have two factors when multiplied giving 0 that means we have two different solutions one is for tan x equals to 0 the other one is for 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to 0. And we are looking into the domain 0 to 2 pi, right? So we have to write all possible solutions in this particular domain. So let's figure this out. Now when is tan x equals to 0? Now tan x is equals to 0 when sine is 0, correct? So within 0 to 2 pi, sine will be 0 at 0, pi and 2 pi, right? So that gives you... Uh, tan x equals to 0 gives you x equals to 0 pi and 2 pi. So tan x equals to 0 means sin x equals to 0 and that is when it is 0 pi and 2 pi. Now how about this part? 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to 0. We can actually solve it further. So we could write this as 2 cos square x equals to 1 or cos square x equals to half or cos x equals to square root of half with plus and minus sign. So that is what it is. So we're looking for cos x equals to plus minus 1 over square root 2. Right. So how do you get these solutions? Let's look into the coordinate plane once again. Now, we are looking for plus and minus. That means within 0 to 2 pi, there are four solutions, one in each quadrant, right? So we have one in each quadrant, four solutions. When is cos 1 over square root 2? It is for pi by 4, right? So pi by 4. So the angles are pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. 4 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4, 6 pi by 4, 7 pi by 4, right? So, so in th this case, we get x equals to pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4, and 7 pi by 4. Is it okay? So we get four solutions, three from here. So total number of solutions which we have are 3 plus 4, 7. So we can write down our answer as x is equals to uh, 0 pi 2 pi and pi by 4 3 pi by 4 5 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4 so as you can see here we could have number of solutions for a trigonometric equation but we need to list all possible solutions in the do given domain that is very important to understand as we did in this particular video. I hope that helps to understand the concept. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.